Dating violence is prevalent among teens and young adults. Well, tonight the Plano Police Department is helping parents and teens navigate dating with a free seminar. It's called Love is Setting Boundaries with the idea to empower youth to prevent and end dating abuse. We have this misconception that it doesn't happen. Our teenagers aren't, you know, having to deal with this. They're teens. They shouldn't be subjected to this. But it's unfortunate that in this day and age, you know, especially digital media makes bullying, harassing, um, everything so prevalent now. So we have to have those conversations. Well, this seminar talks about setting boundaries from emotional boundaries, when to say I love you, to physical boundaries, the idea of consent as well. There are also discussions on red flags that you should be looking for in relationships, tips for better communications with peers, communicating with parents as well, plus the prevalence of social media, figuring out the rules for relationships when it comes to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. So many things to worry about if you're dating at this time. There's also a self-defense portion of the seminar to help build self-confidence, to build, uh, to talk about empowerment as well. And joining us this morning is Mike Coffin with Crucible Krav Maga. Krav Maga, uh, right. Krav Maga is how you say <laughs> yeah. it. And yeah. when the Plano Police Department came to you and said, yeah. hey, we've got this idea, mm -hmm. um, what'd you think? Well, you know, we work with uh, lots of women all year long. Um, you know, we've dealt with thousands of women. Uh, we work with a lot of victims of, uh, you know, rape and attacks and assaults and stuff like that. And so it's great that we try to get into a younger generation. So they're working with right. teens specifically. Uh, something like 20 plus percent of women are actually attacked when they're dating, when they're younger, which is a big right. number. I think that it's probably is. surprising to most people, right? So it's the sooner we can address it, the better and try to avoid it altogether. And, and, and these events that the Planet Police Department, the whole, I mean, they're sold out. So, they're sold so out, they're, right. they're popular. And I think it just, it, it probably helps the parents start the conversation. Of course, that's <laughs> one of the main things we try to teach is like being able to talk about it, uh, understanding your awareness and, and in the moment kind of what's going on. Now, do I have to be like a bodybuilder to, to actually defend myself? I mean, there's yeah. things that even if you're, you're, you're a wimp like me, that, that you can do. 100%, 100%. So the first thing we try to teach people is <clears throat> trust their gut consistently, right. you know, over especially many years. Especially women. Especially we're, we're women. We're usually right. <laughs> well, that, not only right. that, but society kind of trains people to not trust their gut okay. in a lot of cases, right? And so, you know, when that alarm goes off, that's like your internal early warning system saying, hey, right. there's a potential problem here. Okay. You know, and the earlier you listen to it, the earlier you can make a decision. Now you showed me like if you were, if you, uh, you were reaching for me. Right. And I went to block you. So sure. go ahead and show me like something that would okay. be is easy. So. So one of the things we try to say is like, you know, have your hands up, create some space, right. some distance, create right? Space. If somebody grabs you though, here like this. Right. Okay. So you want to take your hand, you want to curl it inside and then you want to readdress the threat. Just grab me again. Right. Right. And so then it's push like, you and go. Yeah, push and go. <laughs> take right? off running. Right? I mean, but the fight back. Fight I mean, back, that really right. is important, yeah. is to fight back, too. It, it's 70% it's of the time when a rape victim defends it, it's because they fought back in some manner, right? They're not MMA trained professionals, they just use some techniques, But right? it can be something as, as simple, simple as, as that. just getting right. out Right, so this is a way. teen dating violence seminar, so if somebody grabs you here, mm -hmm. you turn your wrist inside, grab the wrist, push back, say right. no, I, you know, stay back, something like that. Yeah, uh, right? Yeah. definitely some good advice. You can also make sure, you know, you can you call somebody if, if you're in need 100%. as well. But th there's a, lots of different things that you guys teach. Uh, tonight's teen dating seminar, by the way, this this uh, teen dating and violence seminar, already filled, as we mentioned, but they're going to be doing future ones. Uh, so we'll put a link with more details on that. Also, we'll put a link to you. Awesome. And you're, and it's uh, Crucible Krav Maga. Crucible Krav Maga. There you exactly. go. And we'll put a uh, link on our website, fox4news.com. Thank you for your insight. Thank you very we much. Appreciate, well, appreciate it. it.